What's going on everyone and welcome to a new series on Python and databases. We already looked at the basics of Python. So now we can go ahead and look at databases with Python. As for the database, we are going to use SQLite. SQLite comes by default with Python 3, so you don't have to install it. But before we start coding, let's first look at what a database is. So inside a database, you can have tables and inside those tables, you can store data and access it whenever you need it. Basically a database can be defined as a collection of data organized in tables. So I hope that makes it clear what a database is. Now let's talk about SQLite databases. So as the name suggests, it is a light version of SQL database. You don't need any server to use the SQLite database and it is also really easy to set up. It will just create a .db file on your local system and that file contains all the tables. But a full version of SQL like MySQL can be a bit hard to set up and also it has a lot of other features. Feel free to look up the differences between SQLite and MySQL. And if you didn't understand what I said earlier, don't worry. Once we look at the database, it will help you understand better. As I said, SQLite comes by default with Python 3. So we can go ahead and import it. So import SQLite 3. So now we imported SQLite 3. And now the next thing we need to do is create a connection with the database. And to do that, we can use a variable. So let's say con equals. So con is just short for connection. And then we can say SQLite 3 dot connect. And inside the connect function, we can pass the name of the database. So let's say tutorial dot db. And make sure to use dot db after your database name. And currently I don't have the database tutorial.db. We can confirm this by going inside the folder in which my Python file is. So you can see this is tut1.py, which is my Python file. And this is the only file inside this folder. So we can run our code and you can also use the shortcut F5. So let's run this. And you can see it runs successfully. It doesn't show us any error. And now we can go into the folder again. And you can see it creates tutorial.db. You will not see this icon in front of your database file. This is because I'm using a database browser. So if I open this file, you can see it opens with a database browser. And if you want to install this browser, you can head over to Chrome and search for a DB browser for SQLite and click on downloads and then install the version that you want. This database browser will help you visualize the tables and also the changes that you make to those tables. So now let's create a table inside this database. So now we created a connection to the database and as I said, you can name this database, whatever you want. And if the database doesn't exist, it will create the database. And if it exists, it will connect with that database. Now we have a database tutorial.db and we can create tables inside it. But to create tables, we first need a cursor. To create a cursor, you can name a variable. So let's say C equals con dot cursor. And you don't have to pass anything to this function. So this cursor is created for this database. And you can see we're using the con variable. So con dot cursor. And the cursor basically allows us to create tables, insert data into the table and modify the data present inside the tables. So now we have a cursor and now we can create a table and to create a table, we can use C dot execute. So cursor dot execute and inside the execute function, we can pass the SQL query. So to create a table, we need to pass create table and then the table name. So let's say we want to create a table for people. So people is the table name. And now we can define the name of the columns inside this table. And to do that, we can just open round brackets. So the first column for the people table is name. And we want the name to be in string. So we'll use text. The next thing we want is age. So age. And we want the age to be a number. So we'll use integer. And we also need height. And it will be a real. 
So text, integer and real are the data types in SQLite. So text is used for string, integer is used for int and real can be used for float. So 5.3 or 6.2 numbers like that. So now we have a table people inside tutorial.db and now we can insert data into that table. And to insert data we can pass insert into and then the table name so people and then values and inside the round brackets you pass the values so let's say for name I want to pass Tim and for the age I want to pass 20 and let's say the height is 5.3 and I also spelled values wrong so now we enter data into the table people and now we need to save it and to do that we use con.commit so commit is the function used to save the database and now we can go ahead and close the cursor and also the connection so con.close so we can go ahead and run this so let's run it and you can see it runs without any error so now we can open our file with the database browser and you can see we have the table people and if we click on browse data this is the table people and this is the data that we entered so Tim 20 and the height was 5.3 so let's go ahead and enter some other data so let's say instead of Tim we say Cook and let's say his age is 25 and height is 5.9 now when we run this code it will show us an error because we already have a table people and we are going to create it again. So this will show us an error so let's go ahead and run it. And you can see it shows us an error saying table people already exists. So we can comment this line or we can use if not exist. So create table if not exist. So now if you run this again it should work and sure enough it works so let's go to our database browser so let's refresh it and you can see we have inserted the data in the table so we were able to create a database and a table and also insert data into the table but we inserted the data inside the table by changing the data manually so in the next tutorial we'll look at how we can use the input function to get data from the user and then insert it into our database. Anyways that concludes the tutorial. If you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always thanks for watching, subscribe if you liked it and see you guys in the next tutorial.